We said, somebody give me a signal. Okay. Good morning. Good morning to all of you at home and all around the country. Welcome to our celebration of the greatest love story ever told, the love of Almighty God for his people. Is it appropriate to call this a celebration? Yeah, it is. Nothing like this has ever happened in the history of the world that Almighty God has incarnated in the form of a human being, a lowly creature, and celebrated and demonstrated the unfathomable love that he loves for us. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me, I want my beloved Redeemer to die for the love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always united. to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you, by the merits of this sorrowful journey, to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself. With all my heart, I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us, and offering to his Father on our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me until death. I beg you, by all you suffered in carrying your cross, to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will.
third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. And yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. But by the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, O oh my Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the Son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks become a, a, so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your prayers a tender and a lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent of ever having offended you. Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will.
Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the compassion of the holy woman, Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the, cloth, the image of his sacred countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, but now it no longer appears beautiful and is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since then disfigured it with my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will.
Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ fell for the third time. He was extremely weak, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will.
by a Roman cross, you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering and abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bows his head, and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of me. I deserve, because of my sins, to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love of you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with all my heart. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will.
together, let us pray the prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. My good and dear Jesus, I kneel before you, asking you most earnestly to engrave upon my heart a deep and lively faith, hope, and charity with true repentance for my sins and a firm resolve to make amends. As I reflect upon your five wounds and dwell upon them with deep compassion and grief, I recall, good Jesus, the words of the prophet David spoke long ago concerning yourself. They pierced my hands and my feet. They have numbered all my bones. Thank you all for accompanying us on this journey. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.